Hey, it's me. I'm JC. Just made to JC. And it's Sunday. Sunday fun day. And also, it's time to get woke. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, real quick. With that notification, this is a YouTube video. I really don't know what I want to talk about, so let me just grab up a little bit. Um, recently, I kind of thought about wearing and, um, stress. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Stress. What stresses you out? How do we overcome it? How do we get better out of it? And it's kind of funny. I have different type of stress where it seems like I'm stressed or seems like I'm just calm. Inside, I'm like, wow. And outside, it's just like, <laughs> it's really funny because, like, you wonder, like, as an adult, because when you were a kid, you used to stress over, like, tests. You stressed over, um... Maybe some things, but not that much. I stress probably like maybe around like Christmas, you know, when Santa was supposed to be coming, you know, when they pretend that Santa was existing. Sorry, kids, Santa does still exist. Um, or like around Easter for the Easter Bunny. I was all about Easter. And maybe my birthday. Sometimes I stress for my birthday, but sometimes what I say is stress for me is more like my stress now is different. Like it's not like it once was. It's more like wearing and coping. How do I cope? My cope naturally is, all right, let's get shit together. Or it's more of a, all right, this is life. So how are we going to get over this one? You know, and within that fact, there is, is several things I do to stress and de-stress. One thing I like to do for some reason is recess. And I've talked about recessing and like that's like checking myself. I check myself sometimes almost every single day to a point where it's creepy. But at the same time, it's me as a person where I'm like, all right, this is what's happening today. You know, this is going to be a harder day. You know, you got to go to the hospital. You got to be supportive. Let's try our best to be supportive. Let's not be an ass. You know, <laughs> typical things. I'm naturally like a, I'm a very abrasive person, so like that about myself sometimes um when it comes to me as a person and what comes to like how this is a get woke is what is stressing you out all right so if it's work unless it's like to the point where it's about to be like you're about to lose your job I would always so I was always suggest talk to your boss and like also calm down first. Let's calm down. Do not get postal. If you make a lot of money, you will get postal. Black people get postal. I don't know them, but as far as like say family, there's things that we stretch out naturally. Like say the family dinner. Um, finance is a big one. Finance is something I don't how to help someone out all i can say is plan for it try your best to save as much money as possible even when you live check to check there are certain ways you can save and there's certain ways you can't save um because a lot of times you gotta like you know things happen when it comes to stress stress related incidents are things where it's more like triggering part of your like, it's just, it triggers so many different things. Everyone has different emotions when it comes to being stressed. Some people are over-emotional when they, like, are crying. I'm, like, a hateful, I'm not hateful. I'm more of a, let's see, how can I say it? I'm probably a little in anger and anxious. I'm an anxious person, naturally. So, naturally, when you see me, I'm naturally a person where I will think about everything 55 times. And I won't say anything to anybody. Never. Because it's just not me. Being Southern, being a Southern male, I just don't, I just rather internalize it and figure things out on my own and assess it. Even though when it comes time to it, oh, I'll own up to it. I'll tell people what's going on. Main reason why, the more you tell people, the less stress you'll, it's like you just taking that burden off of you. Some people stress over sometimes the littlest things, the color shoes you have on, the outfits you wear. And to that, I just say, get a grip. I just have to say that too. Get a grip. Get it together. But at the same time, um, ways that you can de-stress is 
meditation. Meditation is a beautiful thing. Praying is actually meditation. People don't know that for some reason. But I would say meditate. Try your best to find a calm area. Listen to some calm music. And just relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Think about things. Think about brighter days. Think of the storm being over. Now, how do you like get over stress? That's all up that's all up to you. And this is how I would say my get woke is your get woke. My de-stress for me a lot of times is comedy. I love movies, anything. My laughter is like a my laughter is my it's kinda like my heaven. So if I can laugh through it, then I'm gonna get through it. And I have to find funny out of every situation. Even when something's very dark, I I just have to. Laughing keeps me probably the most calm. And so does like other stuff, but mostly, mostly comedy keeps me calm. Like anything that's fun or like Google search engine, I will Google anything. I'm not gonna talk about what I Google though, because this is just a different story. Um, wearing as well is funny because it's like all they're saying. Actually, no. Um, I would have worried over personally. I'm 28. I'm worried over my age. And people are like, what do you mean? I'm an ageist. Like, I kind of always thought at 28 I would have things together, which I do. Um, I'm more together than I, I give myself credit for. And also, I'm very mature for my age. I'm thinking about so much every single second of the day, but more so when 28 hits. And it wears me out, like, my birthday's coming, so it's really coming, like, every single day, and I'm like, I want to be the best me. And it's funny, because you can't really be the best you all the time, and that's the funny part about, like, wearing over it. Like, you wear it, but at the same time, you're like, I'm trying to be the best me, I'm trying. And at the same time, it's like, all right, calm it down. Not, and then my worry just disappears. I worry over probably mostly my family like that's my that's my like worry because I do family first I'm a family first person like family comes to my heart and my core my family's not right I'm not okay like I'm a ooh, I'm real big about my family and like friends yeah anytime someone's going through something I'm not gonna go through it with you but I'm gonna be there I will be that one person that's going to make you laugh, also make you think. Because sometimes you have to laugh and think. Because, yeah, like, I want you to understand there's a lot of possibilities in this world. And within that note, um, my tips to stop worrying is more so, like, write a list down. Figure what's important to worry over. Figure out what's not so much. And distressing is still the same. Five, four... Three, two, and there you go. You breathe better. If not, I would say count. Sometimes math problems works. I'm that math. I'm a math kid too. And sometimes tell people what's your stress over. Sometimes telling someone, "Hey, I am wound up. I am scared." Oh, I'm terrified. And sometimes people will understand real quickly. Talk to your boss. Talk to your family about it. Because a lot of times your stress is really hard. And a lot of people don't understand we're still struggling. That's the thing about getting woke. And that's why I really want to tell people more and more about my whole get woke. I'm not telling you to worry about all the things in society. Because you just kind of can't. All I can tell you is to do is be better for yourself. Be a better man. Be a better woman. Be a better me. And that's my thing about me getting woke. My thing is about you getting woke. Because we're doing this together. And let's not stress about it that much. And let's not worry over too much. Let's just wake up another day, pray, meditate, and try our best to focus on being a better person. And within that note, like, I hope you try your best to get woke. Try your best to stay woke. And <laughs> I'll get you tomorrow with another video, I guess. And I hope that this helps you any way possible. Catch you later.